scares everyone this is William Patterson aka Eric Morris and I'm back here at the Century Theater in San Mateo to go and see uh, the Fathom Doctor Who special Deep Breath which is the first episode of Doctor Who with the newest Doctor Peter Capaldi this is going to be an amazing evening, and it's something that Who fans have been waiting for almost eight months to see, and I'm all excited. So, after the show, I will do a review, and I will tell you how good Deep Breath is. So anyways, can you hold your breath? I think I can. The doctor needs us you more than any. Make the cabins! Now! Question is, have the belief in the doctor. The doctor? What's he doing here? There is trouble. There is people. You've redecorated. I don't like it. Goran scares everyone. This is William Patterson, aka Eric Morris, and I'm back home from seeing the theatrical uh, release of. Doctor Who, Deep Breath. And I have to say, it was a thrill going to the Century Theater and being able to uh, see this film with an entire crowd of Whovians. I mean, it was marvelous. I mean, you know, you had people dressed up as the different doctors and stuff. You had Cybermen, you had Daleks in the audience. It was fun. People, you know, with their sonic screwdrivers and everything. I had an absolutely wonderful time. And people absolutely loved Deep Breath. They absolutely loved Capaldi. I stayed around and listened to some of the feedback that people were saying and they absolutely loved him. And I do have to say that I agree with them. Capaldi is a fantastic doctor. He's not like Matt Smith. There's not going to be a lot of heavy duty comedy. You know, he's not going to be jumping around all over the place. But what he brings to the role is he brings to the role uh, something that it's been missing for a while. Seriousness and maturity. He is a 56-year-old Doctor Who. So he's not going to be... You know, this young one. I mean, he does, you know, in, in the episode, he does, rather than taking the stairs, he does go out the window and then steals a horse and stuff. So, I mean, you know, there will be some of that. But there won't be the uh, overse uh, comedy like Matt Smith overly did. And I know a lot of the teenage girls there are going to be going, Oh, no, we, we miss Matt Smith. <laughs> because I saw the reaction videos on YouTube. I watched this video that they had out of the reactions to Time of the Doctor. Oh my fucking god, these girls are sitting there going, 
Oh my god, there goes the, there goes the bow tie. Oh my god, you know, tears are running down their face. Oh, oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. It was hilarious. But anyways, yeah. So now we have a new Doctor Who. And this guy puts a lot of subtlety. He's doing the Doctor with a Scottish accent. And so this Doctor is Scottish. Like me. Which means that he's allowed to complain. I love that. I love a nice... Uh, Angry doctor, one with attack eyebrows. And that's what Capaldi has, is he has those attack eyebrows and he has that glare. I love it. And I love what Moffat is doing this season. This season, he is going steampunk, he is going gothic. You know, this episode was just total steampunk and gothic you know and just wild i mean hell you have a tyrannosaurus rex running through 18th century london wow i loved it and you know clockwork uh androids uh one of uh, moffat's signatures is his clockwork uh robot stuff and these were fantastic. This was some of his best work so far. I mean, especially the one character that was half face. That was impressive, to say the least. And, you know, just the subtext on this episode was fantastic because, I mean, you. You know, it mirrored the way that the audience, or I should say some of the audience, were. You know, at least not not at, not at this screening. Though, you know, the reactions that I've heard on Facebook and that to uh, Capaldi and that. But Clara goes through... A situation where she's not sure that she's going to stay with the doctor because of the fact that he's regenerated into an older man. You know, he's gone from Matt Smith, who was like 20, 28 years old, to a 56 year old uh, man. And she's like, well, He's an old man. Why did he regenerate into an old man? You know, where's the young man that I that I fell for? You know, and even the doctor admits that he can't be Clara's boyfriend. He comes to that c conclusion in it. So, their relationship is not going to be the flirty stuff that that people have come to know in this new generation of Doctor Who. It's going to go back to the good old classic, here is my companion who is the representative of the audience, and Clara does that very well. And the thing is, what I was impressed with is that the character of Clara, she matures in this one. I mean, she's having to learn how to fend for herself because at one point, the doctor abandons her. So she has to deal with the bad guys herself she has to go toe to toe with them and i was i i got a lot of respect for clara 
uh, in this episode for that. Uh, I didn't like the fact that, you know, she was being so, you know, dealing with, oh, the appearance, oh, you know, the doctor's gone. You know, the man that I know, the doctor is gone. So, I, you know, I don't know if I can stay. That was getting, that was getting annoying. You know, and the idea, you know, I I love the way that Moffat handled it. Where Capaldi is sitting there and he's saying, you can't see me. Why can't you see me? You know, I'm here. I'm not gone, I'm here. You know, that's... That is incredible. I loved that part of this. So, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, this season of Doctor Who because it's going to be a lot different than it has been. And they're going back to a time, you know, to a style of episodes that I really appreciated because those were the episodes that I started out with Doctor Who on. Uh, you know, episodes like The Talons of Wing Chiang, The Brain of Morbius, The Hand of Fear, those type of stories. That is... You know, these darker, creepier stories that were slower burns than, you know, just the rushing around, oh, you know, I'm the doctor, I'm going to save the day type thing. That is going to make this season a lot more interesting. And if these teeny boppers can get over it, they'll see just how interesting Capaldi can be. So anyways, uh, I just wanted to put that out. I am happy as hell. I am perfectly satisfied. And the episode looked fantastic on the big screen it you know there was details in there that you could only see on the big screen and they came out just fantastic oh my god i loved it anyways so this is william pattison aka eric morris saying keep america strong watch horror films and enjoy your Doctor Who. Yeah. It's